Alex from Redbeard Sailing and we are going to put this boat into a bag. So to start, let's uh, get this sail on. We're going to unhook the main sheet. We're going to loosen the bang and we're going to unclose, actually we're not going to unclip it, we're going to put this right here and that stays just like that. So all you have to do is loosen this and that unclips, you don't have to take this off at all. Now if it were windy, we want the wind to be blowing towards the front because when you pick this up, it's going to spin and act like a wind vane. So we're just going to pick this up, we're going to find a nice flat spot to put it down. This is this spot right here. Now I'm just going to take the mast out. There's nothing special that you have to do. You just have to start sliding it back. to reduce how many parts that I have out on the beach at any given time. So we're going to take these three pieces out and I'm going to go grab the sail bag and the mast bags. Give me just a second. <clears throat> so we have these nice little bags here. take each, each section and we're going to put each mass section into this segregated mass bag. Now if you're on concrete or something make sure like maybe put your foot at the bottom of the bag that way you don't just drop the, the mast into uh, into a, like a hard ground that prevents it from chipping and that kind of thing. Nobody wants to do that. We're going to set this aside. Now, for rolling of the sail, I like to roll it from the top of the sail towards the bottom. That way, if I'm working in tight spaces, like on the bow of a sailboat or uh, on, uh, on a dock or something like that, and I'm trying to build this boat in a small area, I want to be able to put the mast in as the sail unrolls. So we're going to roll it up in inverse. Now, you can remove this batten, which is really easy, but I wanted to show you an alternative way. So this batten prevents the sail from being rolled nicely. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this so that this batten is parallel to this batten, so that this top one is parallel to this one. You don't have to worry about it sticking over. The sail bag is very, very large. Uh, we're gonna take a nice, Soft roll here. Take it nice and loose to get this batten. And always try to do this on the grass or somewhere soft. That way you're not dragging your sailcloth on asphalt or gravel or something. But sometimes you have to do what you have to do. I've got a nice big soft roll here. You could try and tighten it up a little bit. I'm not that worried about it. We're just gonna stick this right in here. And you'll notice the sail bag fits perfect. Now we're going to set this aside. <clears throat> now we're going to take the rudder off of the boat. I like to reduce how many pieces there are on the boat and kind of work my way back to uh, individual pieces. So all that we're going to do here, this little key ring right here, if you've watched my uh, unboxing video, you'll see how to use this. This little 90 degree bend right here, you put your thumb on it and that allows you to create a little bit of a gap without needing any fingernails or anything to undo that clip. 
You're gonna grab this ring down here, support the rudder, and just lift it, or bring it straight down. Reinsert this pin. And what I like to do is I like to just pull this all the way tight on the main sheet and just pull this, the, the main sheet all the way tight. You can just make a couple of loops here. And then I leave myself a little bit of room like that. I create a bite, pass it through. If it's not secure enough, you can create a second bite and do that. Really easy to untie, keeps it tidy in the bag. Uh, we're gonna take this off, which you can either, sometimes it could be a little bit tight on there. Or if it is too tough, we could do that with it. <laughs> We're going to set this aside. Now this next step is a gas because we're going to let the air out of the holes. But um, Now all you need to do is just press in the buttons. These are on off valves, so I'm just going to press it in. Press it in. Super easy. Now as the boat is starting to deflate, you've taken the pressure off of those keels. So and I, you don't have to come around. I'm going to do it quick on this side. And then I'm going to show you how to do it. This works for all of the mini cats. This works for the 420s, the 460s, 310, and the guppy. This is a real easy way to do it. So you grab both ends of the keel and you do a real quick motion, a quick jerk to the front, a quick jerk to the front, and then a quick jerk back. And it comes right out. That way you're not fussing with the, the, the PVC grabbing on it and rubber and all that other fun stuff. Now what we're going to do, while there's still a little bit of air in the hulls, we are going to try and get these hulls to line up with the edge of the frame. See these, these hard frame bits right here? We want the hulls to be as far, see how I have it rotated inward? We're going to do the same thing over here. Rotate it inward. You still want it to be nice and neat. But we want this to be rotated just like that. Because these bars are almost as long as the bag. <laughs> so we need to stay within the confines of these bars. Okay, now that we've done that, I am going to do these. So, same deal as the as the previous ones. You've got that 90 degree bit. Same thing right here, 90 degree bit. Super, super easy. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna lift this up and put these rings back. That way I don't lose them. Pretty. <clears throat> I'm going to lift this up so that I can get that out and we're going to set this bar to the side. You'll notice a common theme here. Okay, we are on our way. I'm going to roll nicely, just coil this up. And I'm going to stick it inside of the hiking strap. We can do the same thing here. 
just so that it's nice and neat. Now, the cool thing about this boat is you do not need to vacuum the tubes out in order for it to fit. Now, what we are gonna do is we're gonna put our pump right here. We're going to do two folds right here in the hull, just like that. Folding this bow over, then having just enough to hold it the rest of the way like that. <clears throat> now we're going to take this, and we're going to give it a bit of a roll, just like that. It doesn't have to be super crazy. But what we're trying to do, in addition to rolling this all up, is we're trying to squeeze the air out towards the valves. And the valves are luckily in the stern, which makes it quite easy. So now that we've gotten it this far, we're gonna use our arms. We're gonna squeeze the rest of this air out of this hull. And I'm gonna tuck it. Just like that. Do the same thing over here. Just like that. That should be a nice good fold there. Let me grab the bag. All right, so we've got a nice little bag here. Our first thing that goes into the bag is the mast. So the mast goes in here. We're gonna lay it nice and flat and spread out. That way it's not poking up at all. We are then going to do the boat. We're gonna try and stand this thing open as best as we can. Okay, if it's not perfect. We're gonna try and grab the bottom of the hull here. We're gonna move half of the boat in, just like this. I'm gonna grab the other half of the boat, move it the rest of the way in like this. Owner's manual can go right here. Heels can get tucked actually quite nicely right in here. Gotta make sure you get past this hole though. And now this one will be easier. Sliding it just like that. We're gonna go with the center bar next. I've got a little bit of a gap down this end of the bag towards the wheels. I'm gonna try and expand that gap as best I can. I put this bar in. <clears throat> Just like that. That way I've got this little gap down here that I've got the owner's manual in. That's where the mast step is sitting as well. I'm gonna keep getting the bag in a nice shape. Next, we're gonna put our rudder in. Should sit right here on the side. Make sure that I've got this uncleated so that it can be free. And our last piece that goes in here is the sail, which is gonna go right on top because it's squishable because we rolled it really nice and loose, which means that we can kind of get it pretty flat. So, now I really like the bags from Minicat. They actually have this really long flap here. I'm gonna take this flap, I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna Velcro it on the end. Zip that side up. Hold this strap.
And there you go. There is a boat in a bag. So we've done it. Now uh, we're actually going to take this thing to the water and uh, join us next time on the water. And thanks for watching.